Today I'm going to be comparing two of the most popular integrated canister stoves on the market, the Jetboil Minimo and the MSR Windburner. We'll take a look at both stoves in a little bit more detail and then we'll be doing some boil tests and even do a little bit of cooking using the MSR's version of the skillet and putting that up against the Jetboil skillet. And then after those tests we'll see how much gas we've used to see which is most efficient. So let's take a look at the MSR wind burner first. Get all the components out. Oops. Starting off with a full gas canister for each of these tests. So the personal integration of the wind burner comes with a one litre pot, complete with a cozy. The burner, I've got a lid that's got a strainer and a mouthpiece for drinking out of. There's also a canister support for your gas. And then there is a cup that has got measurements in, in both milliliters and fluid ounces. So excluding the gas canister, this whole system weighs in at 465 grams and it costs around 150 quid. Like most of this type of stove, the burner screws onto your gas Just pop it into the stand just to give you that little bit of extra stability. And then once you've fired it up, your pot sits on top. So once you break this system down, everything can be stored inside the pot, including the gas canister, so it makes it a really compact unit. Put that over there a second and have a look at the Minimo. So the Jetboil Minimo, very similar design, comes with a cup. This doesn't have any markers on it, oh it does. Yeah, I just can't see them very well. Lid, which houses the gas canister support. You've also got the strainer and the mouthpiece for drinking out of. So in here, there's a little bag which houses your gas canister and the burner. So it doesn't fit on top of each other like the wind burner does. It has to go in sideways like that. Otherwise it doesn't fit. And that's because this pot is not as tall as, as most of this kind of stove. It's actually it's wider, um, but not as deep. So it's still got the same one litre volume. However, it's a bit lower down. I'm not sure if having the wider pot helps with the boil times or anything like that, but. Yeah, we'll see how that goes in a minute. Get this one set up as well. The Minimo isn't quite as expensive. It's around 130 pounds and it weighs a little bit less as well at 415 grams. So when you put the two systems together, you can see that the the wind burner is quite a bit taller and narrower uh, than the jet boil. Not sure if that'll have an impact on the performance, but we'll see when it comes to boiling up some water. But the wind burner, although taller, feels a little bit more solid. The jet boil has an integrated piezo igniter. The wind burner doesn't, so you, you need to bring a lighter with you or flint and steel. Let's get some water in these and see which one boils quickest. So I'm going to put exactly 400 mil in each. The pots do have a marker in them. I can't see it very well to be honest with you. Not on this part anyway. So that's the markings inside the jet boil. There are more inside the wind burner look, but they're not the easiest to see. That's when these Nalgene bottles come in handy. You can see how much water you've used. Just takes a bit longer. There we go. 400 milliliters in each. I'm going to loosely pop the lids on because I do want to be able to check. And the, the MSR one, once you've got the lid on, I'll just show you, it is on for good. You can pick the pot up. You've really got to pull on it to get it off. The Jetboil one, again, that's still pretty solid, but 
I think this is a little bit more flexible on the, the jet boil. So although this stove's got a built-in igniter, I'm just gonna use a separate lighter, just in the interest of speed, really. So I'll get the stoves lit, pots on, and press go, and see how long it takes. So both stoves, you can twist and lock them. So you can actually pick them up. Less than 30 seconds, that. Bit of action in both already. Jet boil boiling first. One minute, 38 seconds. And there we go, MSR. One minute, 54 seconds. So very little in that and that's for 400 millilitres of water. So both stoves are really rapid when it comes to boil times. Really impressed with both of them. So before we move on, a quick thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring the video today. So in this modern digital world, it's becoming more and more important to, to have a face on the internet, and it's never been easier to have a website of your own. So we've had a website now for a couple of years, and it's coming really handy for promoting our business and the YouTube channel. We use Squarespace every day to check on orders and the analytics. So creating a new web page is really easy. You just choose one of the templates and then you customize it by adding your own photos and text. Our newest page is the competitions and giveaways page. And today I've added my latest video to the home page, which helps send um, traffic to YouTube. So if you want to increase your online presence and have a go at building a website of your own, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So both of these stoves have also got a pressure regulator on them. So it should be constant performance no matter you know, how full the gas canister is or you know, when the temperatures drop a little bit. You should still get a constant gas flow. The handle on the Minimo is sturdier, it is metal and it's got some sort of heat protection on there so you can get a really good grip on it. The MSR is like a fabric that you hold. Um, it, simple, very quick, but I do prefer, there is some sort of protection there, plastic behind it so you don't burn your fingers on the pot. But if I had to choose when it came to handle, I think this one's better. So I press the lid on firmly. So that's how the mouthpiece flows on the MSR wind burner. And that's your strainer. So for all you pasta lovers, I think both of these pots will work well. Jet boil. That's the strainer. And then mouth guard as well. So both of these stoves have different burner types. Jet boil's got more of a traditional type of burner where the flame comes out. And the MSR has got what they call a radiant heat uh, burner. So there's no flame comes out there. It just uses convection, I believe, to, to heat your pans and your pots up. Um, so you won't see a flame, but it makes it much better when it comes to wind resistance. So I've used both of these stoves in windy conditions and the MSR easily trumps the, the jet boil when it comes to performance. So both of these stoves are also very good when it comes to cooking. They're not just for rapid boil times. They've got very fine regulators on them, which means you can control the heat quite well. And both MSR and jet boil have brought out a skillet to be used in conjunction with these stoves. So jet boil are famed for having these uh, heat sinks on the bottom of their pots. So the pot sits on top of the burner. It radiates the heat um, and that's what makes the boil times really efficient. The wind burner, very similar, that sits on top. It's also got a heat sink on the bottom of it. Um, however, because there's no flame, everything there is blocked off from the wind. So that's, what, <laughs> that's why it's called the wind burner. Um, so it's really efficient in windy conditions. So this is the jet boil eight inch skillet. Um, it is ceramic coated aluminium. It weighs 380 grams and costs around 42 pound. It's got a fold away handle, which you just press in and then close. And it comes with an integrated spatula 
this just fits into the handle. The MSR skillet is a bit deeper. This part is actually 1.2 litre volume. It costs around 65 pounds and only weighs 220 grams. This again, it's got a fold out handle and it is made from ceramic coated aluminium. So the problem with both of these stoves is that you can't just stand a regular pot on top of them. So if you put this pan directly onto this jet boil as it is now, it would just snuff out the flame. And the same again um, with the MSR. You need to have some kind of pot support. Um, this is the one that comes with the jet boil. So this does come supplied with the Minimo. So these arms just fold out. That goes on there and you twist it so it locks in place. So now you put the pan on and there's some clearance there for your flame. But my issue with the MSR is you can't buy one of these for the wind burner. <laughs> the jet boil one actually fits on top. But as you can see, you know, the area of the burner is drastically reduced due to this, this bit here being covered over. The jet boil's got a much smaller burner diameter. So very similar to the clipping design of their pot, MSR have got their own specific pot which fits onto the to the wind burner stoves. It doesn't lock into place, although it is quite secure, and it just fits on top of the burner. But it's also then wind protected to a certain degree. The bottom of the jet boil skillet has got ridges, which sit on top of these ridges on the arms, and it makes it so the pan's not going to slip off the top. So I brought with me some goodies, a couple of eggs, a couple of slices of bacon, Get these fired up and see how the skillets perform. Get the pans on. Pop a little bit of oil in. Start with the bacon, shall we? I'm going to use the same spatula from the jet boil on both. I'm going to turn the gas down a bit on both of them. The jet boil definitely has um, the better flame or temperature control. Get some of them marks off. So you look, non sticks really good look. Looks like there's marks. Uh, yeah, you can see it on there marks there on the jet boil skillet. MSR seems to be winning for the non-stick so far, although that just, just comes straight off. So the jet boil skillet has got a different thickness, so it's thicker in the center of the pan than it is on the outer, so that's supposed to give you an even heat distribution throughout the whole of the skillet. Doesn't mention anything about that on the MSR version. Right, let's bob an egg in. One, two. So here you go, look. Jet boil is cooking right to the edge. It's not doing it. The heat transfer isn't going right to the edge on the, the MSR. I don't know if moving the pan over a little bit is going to help matters. The jet boil version definitely looks more appetizing. Yeah, so for me cooking, I think the, the Minimo has got more control. But that egg is quite hard working in the MSR. Get in there though. That right, jet boil is done. I think MSR is going to need another probably 30 seconds. I'll just move the egg into the center of the pan now.
you're one of those that puts ketchup on, you shouldn't even be watching this video. <laughs> that is why you need some kind of skillet or frying pan though. All right, so that's feeding time out of the way. Let's have a quick look at the non-stick on these pans. MSR, nothing on it, just a bit of grease. Um, really good non-stick coating on there. Jet boil, obviously this one's been used quite a lot more, but so yeah. Just rub it with a bit of kitchen roll and everything comes off. If I had to choose which non-stick was better, I'd say this one a little bit on the MSR. However, I think this jet boil skillet transfers heat better. So, you know, you're cooking for the full diameter of the pan, whereas this one seems much more focused in the center. So that's the boiling and the cooking out of the way see how easily these pack down uh, and then see how much gas we've used and then a few final thoughts. I do like the canister support better on the MSR. This one sloppier, that's the word I'm going to use. So the gas actually moves around a little bit, look. Um, I'd rather put the same jet boil one in here. It's much more secure. That slots inside there. Fold that down and put it in the little protective bag. I do like that it comes with a little bag. This one does come with a very small towel thing, but I've lost it. Goes in there. Lid on, handles in, jobs are good in. Very compact. Wind burner. Canister goes in first, upside down. That's when you're better off putting your little uh, bit of cloth at the bottom. The burner fits on top. And you fold these arms in, or legs, whatever they are. And then that fits in the top there. Lid on. Let's get these bases on as well. Right, rattle test. So you do need some sort of cloth in there to stop things rattling around. So when it comes to being compact, it's horses for courses. Uh, this one's shorter, but wider. This one's taller, but more narrow. So just depends on how it fits in your pack. The minimum is a few grams lighter, um, but in your hand you can't feel the difference. So very different shapes considering they're both the same volume when it comes to pot. So I wrote on the bottom of each one. So 200 grams, both of these weighed before we started this. Don't tell Joe, but I've nicked her baking scales. Let's turn it on. So 14, 15 grams of jet boil, jet fuel gas that we've used and that has boiled 400 ml of water and it's made me a bacon and egg sandwich. MSR again, that weighed 200 grams and that's used 13 grams. So the MSR seems a little bit more efficient. So that's why I did this test outdoors, although it's not very windy, even the slightest breeze can affect the performance of the stove. And I wanted to see how these compared in real world conditions. I don't think there's a lot between these. Uh, the MSR is a little bit more efficient on gas. That's just based on my experiment there. Um, the jet boil actually cooked better. So part of that was probably down to the, the skillet is better for the jet boil, I think. Um, however, in even windier conditions, um, this might have been even more efficient when it comes to how much gas it used. 
150 pound, 130 pound. They're both one litre cook kits. The jet boil is only 50 grams lighter. So if you purely just want to boil water for your dehydrated meals in what could be windy conditions up in the hills, and the MSR might be the one to go for. If you want to do a little bit more cooking and you get the skillet as well, you might want to choose the jet boil. However, both will work in both situations. I'm not going to let on which one's my favourite because I've got another video in the pipeline with a lot more stoves involved. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.